From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hello everyone, I'm Wendell Edwards and here are some top stories for this Monday. The FDA has given full approval to the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine as the Delta variant keeps driving up COVID cases around the globe. This full approval is for people ages 16 and older. The agency is still has its hands full looking to authorize first doses for younger children. The Pfizer vaccine had been authorized for emergency use in the United States since mid-December, again for people ages 16 and older. In May, the authorization was extended to those 12 and older. The FDA is the gold standard for vaccine review and approval. They'll run an independent and rigorous scientific process. And when that process is complete, the American people can rest assured that the FDA maintained those world-class standards uh, throughout this period. Dr. Anthony Fauci says he believes the approval will boost confidence in the safety and efficacy of the vaccine, particularly for those who have been vaccine hesitant. Let's turn now to coverage of Henri. City officials are addressing flooding concerns right now in Bristol. It's been a challenge uh, draining the reservoirs. We've gotten about almost six inches of rain um, since Wednesday. So we're, as of now, we are continuing to lower our reservoirs as much as we possibly can. Um, today we're expecting to get another two to four inches of rain, so we're trying to get the reservoirs down as much as we possibly can. Bristol Water says back on July 15th it lowered reservoirs just as a precaution. The goal was to be at 90 percent. However, remnants from Fred brought reservoirs slightly up before Henri. Crews say because of the rain we are getting today, flooding is a strong possibility. That's indeed the case as we continue to track on We have a flood watch up for the entire state through 8 o'clock this evening as uh, rounds of rain will be making their way across the state. To anything from scattered showers to just downright tropical downpours that will reduce visibility. We could see an inch or two of rain on top of what we've already experienced. Some communities uh, since yesterday over five inches of rain. So that's why there's that concern for poor drainage and flash flooding. Later on tonight, Henri finally departs setting the stage for a brighter, drier day tomorrow. Tomorrow, but as well for our fourth heat wave, our fourth likely heat wave of the year to kick off. Uh, temperatures through the end of the week near, if not above 90, with high humidity. Storms late in the week will bring relief with a cold front for the weekend.